boys and I have just hopped off Black Rhino Trail out at Kornterbundskloof and it has been a good time. We haven't seen Dougie B's face on the channel in a while. You've been hard at work behind the scenes. Yeah, keep my head down, but I'm sure all of you have been very pleasantly surprised with the fresh looks of uh, this youngster Jason, as well as his incredible riding skills. It's been great to have him on board and, and taking the lead role in the presenting side of things. Nick Lamondo, welcome to the channel officially. Uh, gears in review, anything that, uh, that is new and happening and you want to know about, this man has got the experience and the pedigree to take mm -hmm. you through that journey. Um, and help, hopefully help you make better purchasing decisions down the line. But he knows how to ride a bike too. <laughs> yeah, it's been fantastic to finally get myself into some gear reviews and tech, uh, familiarize myself with it all a bit. Got a little bit of work to do on keeping up with Jason on the trails, but hopefully that'll come with a bit of time and uh, yeah. We're capping off what's been an incredible season here on the show and what a better way to do it than a good old trail ride. We, yeah, we've got a good mix of flow, a good mix of jank. Nick's going to show us a couple of things on 100 mils of travel. This is what it's all about. You. Convincing case on the first pallet. Really? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, that's, those rock ones aren't a joke. So next on his on his epic today, 100 miles of travel. He's getting down, but it's not that pretty, is it? It's not the prettiest. <laughs> Entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was amazing. <laughs> but how's it feeling? What are you? Um, what could you say about that? So I would say the travel's probably not the issue. I feel a little bit more. It's around. Um, tires. I must say the wind is also, I'm coming up with a lot of excuses. But... Um, I can definitely smoke these oaks on the climb. <laughs> <laughs> and I've blown. <laughs> That's my legs for the day done. <laughs> Catching up with Dougie B here. You brought the 140 mil rig to the trail party. How are we doing? I feel like I made a good choice. Uh, the conversation is not going to be as measured as it was with Nick, because I'm dying. <laughs> okay. We're at 168 beats a minute right now. These guys are weapons. Clocking the revs. <laughs> uh, that's not a reflection of the bike. That's a reflection of my lockdown diet. Put that aside. Black Rhino Trail, always a good time. I'd say 140 mil is a good balance for this trail because you've still got that like efficient pedaling. Mm, cornering. Good cornering, nice snappy feel to the bike, but it can also chew up those rock gardens quite nicely. So pretty stoked for my choice, eh? Best of all the worlds. <laughs> Problem is the rider. <laughs> the rider. It's always rider error. And right now we are witnessing the beauty of why you should have a dropper post. Nick slammed a seat post to get down the trail, but it means on the climbs he's having to stand the whole way. When you've got such finely tuned athletes on your presenting crew, you can just work lap after lap after lap. Hey Doug? Doug? Where'd he go? <laughs>
is going to jump this pallet, whether he likes it or not. Sweet. Well, a couple, <laughs> a couple of loose moments out of the trail between all of us. Always good to, to get out in here, right? Definitely remember your, your yearly membership or day pass if you do come out here to enjoy the trails. But we are big fans. We had a fair, fair mix of bikes out there today. Nick, what did you have to say about bike choice? So I was on a 100 mil travel uh, XC bike. Um, I'd say it's a little bit... Um, undergunned, mm. to put it mildly, um, but in fact a great place to up your skill level and yeah. really put those mm. types of bikes to, to their test. There's nothing that that bike can't handle, you might have to just scale it back a little bit through some of the rock gardens, um, but a fantastic place to work on tire, tire choice as well as skills, things like cornering and keeping speed through rock gardens and whatnot. If you're going to ever end up racing a cross country uh, track, it's certainly a place to build some skill. Mm. No, it's a great place to come out and ride, get on your bike. Coffee shops open here, Stark Breweries beers are flowing now. Good spot. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite places to ride and that's why we keep on coming back here. We're going to round things off hopefully later with a sneaky ale before we head home. But uh, yeah, I guess to, to wrap everything up, season two done and dusted. We're going to be back with season three come the 1st of October. Really looking forward to that. We've yeah. got some really exciting stuff that we've got in the pipeline. Everyone thinks we've gone holiday for a month. We actually don't. We're up the ante in terms of <laughs> getting ahead and producing as much content as we can. So from a YouTube perspective, you obviously won't be seeing your weekly show for the month of September. But check us out on Instagram. You're still going to be getting your Tech Tuesdays, the podcast. We've got some great, uh, great reels footage we're putting out there at the moment. So that's going to be your place to get your weekly fix of, of radness from Wild Air TV. But yeah, we look forward to season three and seeing you all then and going on some really exciting adventures. Keep it real. We'll be out on the trails and we'll see you soon. Rock. Thank you.